たりしててどの試合もすごかったあありがとうございますチームを支える活躍だったよね習得戦でもバニシングドライブ抜かせねえIt's your boy Karma TV back at it again with with another episode of NBA 2K25 Crook or No Basket, my player builder man. And in today's video, we're gonna be dedicating it to the man who started it all, the main character of the series, the Phantom Sixth Man himself, the man you can't see on the court because he draws no attention. He's so unassuming, Kuroko. Tetsuya, bro. And before I get into it, a lot of my builds are not comp. Anyways, y'all, without any further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, man, so boom, look, listen. First things first, you're gonna, you know, obviously name him after Kuroko if you want. Hand, right or left, doesn't really matter. And go jersey number 11 to stay true to the anime. Alright, now for the positional settings. We're gonna go point guard. I know he's like technically a uh, shooting guard. I mean, technically, they have, like, question marks by his position, so either way, we're gonna go point guard for mainly his height and for the stats you can get. Speaking of height, we're gonna go five foot nine, which is incredibly short, but for some reason, it gets the best stats, and Kuroko is about five foot four, five five in the anime. I mean, it's kind of crazy. I'm about, like, 5'11", so it's weird to make a build <laughs> shorter than you in real life, but hey, man, we're making Kuroko out here. Weight, you're gonna want that at 160. 75 pounds mainly for the perimeter defense and then wingspan at six foot one all right so because this is kuriko we're gonna head straight for the pass accuracy put that up at a 99 that's gonna give you those red colored badges i don't even know what they're called legendary hall of fame whatever ball handle at a 95 and speed with ball at a 91 let's get into some of the highlights here you see kuriko doing a spinning behind the back to an open man come on now that's Kuroko uh hit him with a flashy pass on the way to the basket that's too easy a little double cross right there another little flashy pass for some reason the flashy passes were not being as flashy as I kind of hoped for so we've had to go up for a lob with that one but honestly they just kind of give you the same animations that little shovel eh, as pass you know you can't really do any of that Kuroko style stuff but, you know, with a 99 pass accuracy, for the people that were complaining, Oh, this build pass accuracy too low, man. What do you mean, bro? Just learn how to pass. Just don't pass in the lanes. You see me. Oh, that was a nice one right there with the behind the back. Can we get another one? Oh, with the shovel pass. Bang. Come on now. Uh, I got Shay on my team. And here I'm really just trying to see what 99 can do. And yeah, bail out while heading to the basket for a layup is kind of crazy. All right, now for the defensive stats. For the perimeter defense, we're going to go at a 76. And for the steal, we're going to go at a 91. That's going to give you gold glove and gold interceptor. And I was out here ripping fools, man. Give me that. Try to go behind your back. Okay, Jalen Williams with that little double clutch slam. That was kind of ugly though, but it's all good. We're coming up on, I think that's Dyson Daniels. Give me that for three. Green Bean, come on now, Dyson Daniels. You ain't learned your lesson, homeboy. Give me that. Hey, with the contact finish over Capella, that was a little ridiculous. Bogey, give me that, bro. Where are you going with that spin move? And A. Hey, Nice little assist there at the end. All right, now for the physical stats. We're going to go 90 for the speed, agility at an 89. That should give you enough kind of stats to run around and do what you want off ball. I mean, Kuroko is not really a physical specimen or anything like that. So honestly, you're going to have to just kind of deal with those stats. 90 speed isn't too bad anyways. Now on to the shooting stats. I know Kuroko cannot shoot, but we kind of have to spend our points in some way. So we're going to go 79 for 
for the three point shot and mid range at an 85. Sorry if you heard that notification in the background. I'm at work. It is what it is. Free throw at a 66. Let's get into the shooting highlights right here. Look at that nice old nonchalant ass you know step through on the pick and roll hit him with that double cross into the step back okay Kuriko's getting nasty with it uh hit him with that pull up mid range that's too easy come on now it's 85 on the mid range all right now for the finishing we're just gonna go up to an 86 on the close shot driving layup should already be at an 80 and Kuriko is not really known for his layup or dunking but what he did develop was that phantom floater so I'm just trying to show it off right here a little bit. Dude, ooh, nice little spin move to the cup. Uh, too easy, bro. That's that 80 driving layup right there. Another floater. With that 80 driving layup, you should be able to get some decent animations. And around this build out, I just went to a 36 strength because people are going to see you at 5'9 and just try to <laughs> back you down. But it is what it is, man. And that's going to be the stats. I'll let y'all pause it right here and take them down. All right, now it's gonna give us shades of Tim Hardaway, Mike Conley, Ed Fran Van Fleet. I think he just gave it that because he is five foot nine, man. A three level scoring playmaker is not how I describe Kuriko, but at the end of the day, man, he's got a 99 pass accuracy, so he's definitely more than oh he's just a playmaker i mean he is the playmaker he's the maker of all plays you know what i mean man come on now if i had to give kuriko an irl kind of comparison i'd say somebody like oh that's really hard man because uh kuriko is kind of one of a kind you know in his play style where really his passing is so much more efficient and kind of nuanced and just crazy than anybody else but mm, I don't know, man, maybe like Manu Ginobili for that sixth man spot, and then Rajon Rondo, maybe? I mean, he did have some crazy passes and some crazy kind of finishes, but Kurko doesn't exactly play like anybody, and I think that's what makes him so special, man. But yeah, man, with that, that's gonna be the Kurko build. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Do all the typical YouTube fun stuff. Comment, share, subscribe. And yeah, man, with that, I'm out, y'all. Peace.